Hey everyone, I'm so glad to be your podcast friend. Listener support is what makes this podcast possible. So when you sign up for a Like You subscription, you gain access to special bonus content. Please consider supporting the show by subscribing through Apple Podcasts or Patreon. Find more information in our episode notes. Thanks, and here's today's show. Hello, I'm Noah, and this is Like You, Mindfulness for Kids. I'm very glad you're here. On this episode, we'll connect the dots between ourselves and other people. So, listeners of all ages, find a place to listen where you feel comfortable and safe. As I ask questions and invite you to say affirmations, you're welcome to speak out loud, or as always, you can just think your responses quietly in your mind. Let's begin with a breathing exercise. If you happen to have a piece of paper and something to write with, we can use those for this exercise. You can pause the show if you need a minute to get your paper. Or if you don't have paper nearby right now, that's fine too. You can use your imagination instead. So, if you have paper, I want you to draw a dot on one side of the paper. It can be about the size of your fingertip. Now, draw a second dot a few inches away on the opposite side of the paper. If you don't have paper, just imagine two dots on whatever is in front of you. A table, a pillow, or even your hand. Now, place your finger on one of the dots. Next, I want you to slowly breathe in. And as you do, move your finger slowly from one dot to the other. Then breathe out slowly as you move your finger back to the first dot. Now do that a few times, always breathing slow and deep as you move your finger from one dot to the other and then back again. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Continue breathing slowly in and out at your own pace as I talk. Try to tune everything else out except for the dots and the piece of paper or whatever is in front of you. Notice how it feels against your finger as you move your finger back and forth. Back and forth. Now, I want you to take one final deep breath in and out. Great job. Now, on the count of three, let's all say, I like me. One, two, three. I like me. I like you too. There's no one else in the world exactly like you. Have you ever played a game of connect the dots? When you start, it just looks like a bunch of random dots, and it can be hard to guess what the picture is going to be. But as you begin connecting from dot to dot to dot, a picture begins to emerge. When all the dots are connected, you're able to see a picture that wasn't there before. Sometimes I think meeting new people and making new friends feels a little bit like a game of connect the dots. Imagine you are a little dot on a piece of paper, and each person in your family is another dot, and each person on your street, and each person at your school, and each person in your town 
They're all little dots floating there all alone on a piece of paper. It might feel a little bit like the before part of Connect the Dots when all the dots are still disconnected. How could all these different dots possibly have anything in common? So how do we connect dots between people? Well, we get to know things about them. When you meet a new friend, you learn their name, what they like to do, what jokes make them laugh, and soon you begin to form a whole picture in your mind of who this person is, when before they were just a dot. Let's do a short Connect the Dots game in your mind, connecting you with a few people you know. Close your eyes. Now, picture yourself as a dot. Next, think about someone in your family and picture them as a separate dot. Now think about something that you have in common with that person. Maybe there's a book or a movie that you both like, or even just the fact that you have the same last name. After you've thought of something you have in common, imagine drawing a line from your dot to their dot. Now you've connected the dots. Let's try it again. This time, think about one of your close friends and imagine them as another dot. Next, think about a fun experience you've had together with that person. Spend a few seconds remembering that experience. Now imagine drawing a line from your dot to their dot so you're connected. You're getting very good at connecting the dots. Now one last time, I want you to think about someone who you know, but not very well. This might be harder, and it might take a minute to think of someone. Maybe it's a crossing guard who helps you cross the street on the way to school. Maybe it's a new kid in your class who just moved to town. Maybe it's your basketball coach or your piano teacher or a waiter at your favorite restaurant. I'll give you a few seconds to think of someone who you know but not very well. Once you've thought of someone, picture them in your mind and imagine them as a separate dot. It's easy to feel connected to your family and friends, but it can be harder to feel connected to people you don't know as well. But you have things in common with everyone you meet each day, because every single person feels happy sometimes and sad sometimes. We all have people who we love and people who love us. We all have things that we worry about, things we're afraid of, and things that make us laugh. And in that way, we are all connected. So imagine drawing a line from your dot to the dot of this person who you don't know very well. Connect the dots. Now, in your head, Imagine you can zoom out and see the whole planet Earth, and it's covered with billions of dots. In fact, if there was a dot for every person on Earth, there would be almost 8 billion dots. That's a lot of dots. Now begin to imagine lines connecting dot to dot to dot. As they all connect together, they form a picture of the entire world. Sometimes you might feel lonely, like a disconnected dot. But remember, there are other people all around the world who feel the way you do. And there are people in your life who love and care for you.
Now it's time for affirmations. Affirmations are words you can say about yourself to remind yourself how wonderful you are. I'll say each affirmation twice, so you can listen the first time and say it together with me the second time. Here we go. I am so proud of who I am. I am so proud of who I am. I am thankful for life. I am thankful for life. I'm glad that I am me. I'm glad that I am me. The world is a better place because I'm in it. The world is a better place because I'm in it. I am a good friend. I am a good friend. I choose to spread positive thoughts. I choose to spread positive thoughts. I will speak kindly to others and myself. I will speak kindly to others and myself. There's no one better to be than myself. There's no one better to be than myself. Now let's take a few slow, deep breaths as we wind down our time together. If any of those affirmations stood out to you, feel free to write them down or just store them safely in your mind to say when you need it. If you have an affirmation that is special to you, I would love to hear it. If you'd like to send a recording of your favorite affirmation to play on the show, have a grown-up check our website or episode notes for more information. Now, I'd like to end with a song. As you listen, feel free to dance, sing, take deep breaths, or imagine connecting dots all around the world. I'm glad that I am me. I'm glad that you are you. I'm glad that we both do the things that we each like to do. I'm glad that I know you. I'm glad you know me too. We're different, but we teach each other things we never knew. And what if you were me? What if I were you? Would we still do the same things that we've always liked to do? I wonder. But you'll always be you, and I'll always be me. We learn and grow and change our clothes, but stay the same beneath. I'm glad that I am me. I'm glad that you are you. I'm proud of how you're growing, and I like your point of view. And I like you. I can't wait to spend some time together again soon. Until next time, I like you, I'm proud of you, and I'm glad we are friends. Have a happy and peaceful day. Like You is a production of Perpetual Motion. It is made possible by our subscribers on Patreon and Apple Podcasts. Become a supporter by visiting patreon.com slash likeyoupodcast or by tapping subscribe on our show page in Apple Podcasts. You can also tell your friends about the show or leave a five-star review wherever you listen to podcasts. Like You is written and hosted by me, Noah Glenn. I also composed and performed the Like You theme music and other music that appeared in this episode. Our podcast cover art was illustrated by Maya Sane, and our episode art is created by Lindsay Glenn. Grownups can find more information about Like You by visiting our website at likeyoupodcast.com. Thanks for listening. Thank you.